Hi there, welcome back. This video is going to be all about how can we set up alerts for CPU, memory, disk space, baseline monitoring and understanding the counters. So prerequisites for this video, please watch the previous video if you have not already watched to follow with this practical. We need a Windows and a Linux VM, data collection rule associated with the VMs and destination of the data to be the log analytic workspace. So here in the Azure portal, let's see the virtual machines I have already created. One is a Windows and another one is a Linux VM. Next thing which we need is a data collection rule. We have a data collection rule here AMA DCR. We have already defined what performance counters we are collecting from the VMs like CPU, memory, disk space. Counters are what against which the VM is going to be monitored like CPU, memory, disk, they are all counters and it's important how much seconds we are going to define that is going to tell how much fast we need the data from the VM to be sending to the destination which is going to be a log analytic workspace. Like in this case we have defined 60 seconds meaning every 60 seconds the VM is going to send the data to the destination. I have already defined which log analytic workspace it's going to send the data to and in the resources section both of the Windows and Linux VMs are associated with the DCR meaning whatever rules we have defined in the data collection rule to be collected then the agent is going to collect from the VM and then send to the destination. Alright so we have the VMs, we have the DCR, we have the log analytic workspace. The only thing which we need to create before creating the alert is action group. Action group is the place where we specify the email or mobile number where we want to send the alert to. To create the action we need to go to Azure monitor. In the Azure monitor we need to go to alerts. In the alerts in the top we have the action group. Let's create in the action group name let's put a name. And the display name same as it is. In the notification side we this is just for reference in the action group. In here we specify is it an email we want to send the alert to or a mobile number or it could be Azure mobile app notification or just a voice IVR. Ok so I put up a personal email so any alert generated will be sent to this email. Click on next, next, next and create. Alright so the action group is created. Now we can proceed with the alert creation. To create alert, we need to go to the destination of the data collection rule which we have set up and the destination here is the log analytic workspace so, so let's go here. In here we can go to the logs, close this. So now before creating the alert just search one of the option here, I'll choose the performance counter. It is giving me the results of whatever counters I have set up in the DCR against which the VM is monitored. Now we can just go to the new alert rule. Ok so before creating alerts we need to be aware Windows memory and Linux VM memory are both the separate alerts. One alert cannot incorporate both of the two Windows and Linux VM. It's a separate alert we have to create because both have the separate signal. So let's create alert for Windows memory. In the signal we need to go to see all signals. In here we need to go to for committed bytes in use. This particular signal is for windows memory alert. Threshold is going to static, aggregation type is average. Operator we can choose according to our needs. I am going to use greater than or equal to. So let's choose this one and unit is going to be the count. Threshold value is going to be 90. You can specify anything according to your own needs. It could be 80, 70. It's up to you. So when I set threshold value to 90. Whenever my windows VM memory is beyond 90 or equal to 90, it's going to create an alert and send it to the action group email which I have configured. Below that we can go to the split by dimensions. We can choose computer if we have multiple machines, it's going to differentiate in here whenever an alert is being sent out. It's going to tell you which VM it is. So it's necessary to choose computer in the dimension name. In here my windows VM is already selected, I'll leave it to that. And, and in the include all future values, keep that on selected because whenever new VM is created, it is going to automatically add that VM to this particular alert provided that you have added that VM to the DCR. 
so when to evaluate so whatever value we define in here is going to check for that particular time so in this case it's going to check for every one minute if any vm has breached a 90 percentage threshold look back period is fine for five minutes it's just going to check for last five minutes data in the next actions we can select the action group which we have created initially so action ama in here i can see the email which i have already specified in the next details we can specify the severity whatever severity we want the alert to be let's use critical alert rule name vm law on memory description we can make it according to our needs we can add additional details like whatever priority it's going to be the ticket we want to get it created in the advance, we can choose this enable upon creation. Automatically resolve alert whenever the VM has breached the 90% threshold and it's back from 90 to 89 or 88, it's going to automatically resolve the alert. So it's good to have this selected. Next tag, leave, review and create. Create. So that's all with the Windows memory alerts. Next alert which we are going to create is Linux VM memory alert. Let's wait until this is created and then move to the Linux VM memory alert. Alright, so again, just go to new alert room. In the all signals method, now we'll choose the percentage available memory for Linux VM. So in the alert logic, I'm going to specify whenever my Linux VM memory is less than or equal to 10, I'm going to receive an alert. Let's split the dimension important to differentiate between the VMs now let's look at this graph in the time series we can select whatever VM we have apply we can see here that this particular VM is fluctuating at 50 to 40 right now and you can see the red line in here at 10 so whenever this VM will breach this particular 10% limit it's going to create an alert so if we change the value to 20 it's going to move that red line to the 20 part like this so we'll stick to the original 10% um, below this alert is going to run every one minute and is going to look at the data of last five minutes go to next action select the action group which we have created initially next details critical alert rule name linux linux vm memory low description enable the alert and automatically resolve the alert when it's below 10 in this case next tag next review and create and create the linux vm alert okay so now to create an alert for disk space for windows and linux vm let's create a new alert rule and the counter for both of the disk space for windows and linux we are going to choose free space apply let's choose the less than or equal to we want to get alerted when the value is less than 10 Let's choose the computer in it, Windows and Linux. One another important dimension in here is this one. And we need to like unselect the values which we do not need because it's create a necessary alert for the file system which we actually do not need the monitoring. So we can just unselect this and the alert is not going to monitor those file system. Time series we can choose individually the file system which we want to see. The check every one minute and the loopback period five minutes. Next action. Select the action group. Next details critical. This let's put up a name here. This space utilization high. Let's leave these both options enabled. Next tags. Next review and create and create. Okay, so up until now we have created alerts for Windows and Linux memory, disk space and mount point alerts. So what is left right now is the CPU alert. CPU is a metric alert and can be created directly via Azure monitor page. Let's go to Azure monitor and the metrics. We can choose the subscription where our servers are. We can choose the virtual machines and the locations of central US. Click on apply. In the metric side, we can choose the CPU percentage and the aggregation average. So whatever VMs we have in that subscription will come here automatically. We can see our both of the Windows and Linux VMs. We can just go to the new alert rule directly from here. 
so in the scope side we can automatically see it has already selected the all virtual machine south central us and the subscription in the condition it's already selected the signal percentage cpu and the alert logic greater than or equal to 90 whenever the percentage cpu of the vm is beyond 90 is going to throw an alert let's go below we can choose the timeline check every one minute next select the action group next details error or critical according to your environment cpu above 90 percent leave the both options selected next tag and let's create the alert for cpu for the time it's getting created let me emphasize on the alerts which we create the cpu alert is created at the subscription level it does not have any dependency on the dcr or the log analytic workspace it's just a metric getting out directly from the vm we can create it directly without any dcr or any log analytic workspace other than that memory disk space are separate alerts and have a dependency on the dcr and the agent and the log analytic workspace for the working of the alert okay so let's see the alerts which we have created Okay, so in the alerts, we can see the alert is fired for the disk space utilization high. Let's see in the email where the alert must have been sent to. Before that, let's go to alert rule. Okay, so we can see all the alerts which we have created. CPU, disk space utilization high, a Linux VM memory low and... Okay, so I forgot to give a window name in this alert, but this is for Windows VM low on memory. Alright, so that's all for the alerts for CPU, memory, disk space and mount points. I'll share the PDF, counters and which signal is for which OS. So please check that to clear any confusions on the signals. We need to choose for different operating systems. And now let's go to the Gmail to see where the alert is sent. Okay, so the alert came in and it says the description disk space utilization high. We can see the VM name and the file system where the breach was.